My name's Ewan Harvey and I'm the coordinator for the Marine Science major. What I'd like to do today is tell you a little bit about the major at UWA and I want to start off by asking what is marine science? At UWA we are lucky that we have some of the leading researchers in marine science from around Australia and they bring their research knowledge into the class. So what sorts of things do marine science cover? They cover things like biological oceanography, physical oceanography, they might cover coastal geomorphology. Many of you will be familiar with concepts like fisheries management and marine conservation. And we're lucky that we have people at UWA who cover all of those aspects. So the marine science major is a good fit with many other majors, including environmental science, law, geography, and many of the other options which are available at UWA. Careers, many of you will be asking what you might do once you've finished your marine science major. And there are many options for employment. For example, you could work for one of the government agencies, maybe the Department of Environment and Conservation, where you're going out and doing surveys of marine parks, whether it be of fish or corals or algae, or you could end up working for the Department of Fisheries, helping to manage our state's fisheries. You might end up working for an environmental consulting firm, such as SKM or RPS where you could be going out and doing environmental impact assessments in oil and gas or even in some of the minerals areas. Other options for work could be with the CSIRO or with the Australian Institute of Marine Science where you might end up doing research. There are also many options and opportunities with education. You might end up having my job in 10 years time. People are also looking for employees in tourism. They want people to go out on boats and actually tell customers what they're actually seeing. So for example, you could work on a tour boat up at Ningaloo. There are also options within the fishing industry. You might end up doing work with aquaculture, or you could end up working with commercial fishermen themselves, looking at ways of improving fish catches or actually how you can actually manage the fishery in a better way. Similarly, you could work in anywhere in the world under these sorts of options, whether it be conservation for government, for NGOs. There are many examples of Australians and international students who have studied here who are now working overseas. So what I'd like to do now is to give you some specific information on the types of units you might be doing in the marine science major. At level one you will study two core units. The first unit is dynamic planning and what I'd like to do is hand over to Dr Mary G who's going to tell you a little bit about that. Hello my name's Mary G. I'm first year geoscience coordinator in the School of Earth and Environment here at UWA. In first semester, first year, I coordinate EART 1105, Dynamic Planet, which is a broad-based Earth System Science unit. For this, we draw on specialties from across the school, and as we're a very diverse school with lots of specialist fields, we can be uh, covering topics such as climate change, we can be looking at the way the biosphere inter interacts with the rest of the planet, we can be looking at volcanoes and the way that they interact with the atmosphere for instance. So it's an extremely diverse unit and it's a unit that is updated yearly so it's very hard to talk about specific content. We also focus a lot on students um, learning about earth systems, earth processes, and learning about topical um, processes such as climate, for instance, which is a very popular process, but not just discussing it from a, a point of view of somebody reading the literature, but looking at the data behind this. So we actually go back to the ice core data so that we can focus on the way climate has behaved on this planet over the past 700,000 years and it's a key part of the unit that you, that you as a student will be able to look at a data set like that, interpret a data set like that and be able to make up your own mind about some of the media information you're getting. At the end of Dynamic Planet you'll have a general understanding of Earth systems, how complex they are and how they interact with each other, how many variables are in those systems. And you'll be able to apply that understanding to your future studies here at UWA and also to your life in general. The second unit is plant and animal biology. And here's research assistant Nikki Mitchell who will tell you more about that unit. Hi, my name is Nikki Mitchell and I'm the coordinator of first year biology at UWA. I organise our two first year units and present some of the lectures. 
Plant and Animal Biology is the second semester unit. In this unit, you will learn about the diversity of life with a focus on plants, animals and fungi. You will learn how species interact with each other and their environment, how plants and animals function and exploit a wide range of environmental conditions, including the ocean. You will develop an understanding of how plants, animals and microorganisms assimilate energy and respond to environmental stress. We examine life history strategies and adaptations to specialised environments. We also emphasise the need to understand the processes that can lead to the decline of species in biological communities, a discipline known as conservation biology. And we draw examples from the remarkable biodiversity of Western Australia that has evolved in isolation on a very ancient continent. There are also two complementary units at level one, and these are science, society and data analysis, and science, society and communication. Both these units will give you really important skills in data analysis and communication. At level two, you're going to do two core units. These are marine systems and global climate change and biodiversity. I'll tell you a little bit about these units. In marine systems, you'll be introduced to the multidisciplinary nature of marine science. You'll develop an understanding of the interactions between plants, animals and their environment and be introduced to the principles of oceanography, geology and geomorphology. In global climate change and biodiversity, you will learn about how climate change can drive the evolution of biodiversity. You will learn about how climate has been changing over thousands of years and how anthropogenic carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases are impacting the environment and the biodiversity of our planet. There are also two complementary units at level two. These are conservation biology and geographic information systems. In conservation biology, you will develop a critical approach to the current issues in conservation biology. These include what is biodiversity, what threatens it, and what are the critical things that we can do to actually preserve it, and also why we should preserve it. In geographic information systems, you'll learn how to use the software, also how to analyse spatial data, and how you can actually communicate that to people in a range of different options. And this is a very important skill that many employers are looking for nowadays. In your third year, there are four core units that you'll undertake. These are field techniques in marine science, physical oceanography, biological oceanography, and ecological processes. In field techniques, you'll undertake a field trip probably to somewhere like Albany for four to five days, and you'll actually learn how to implement and conduct marine research. You will be expected to analyse the data, write it up, present it as a written report, but also do a number of presentations to colleagues and peers. Physical oceanography is taught by Winthrop Professor Chari Patiarachi. In physical oceanography, you will learn about the dynamics of the ocean, about how salinity and temperature vary spatially, and the sorts of processes that actually influence that. In ecological processes, you will learn about the interactions between abiotic and biotic processes in marine, terrestrial and freshwater systems. In biological oceanography, you will learn about primary productivity and also about secondary productivity and the processes that actually influence them. Also about how primary and secondary productivity can drive the distribution of other organisms in the marine environment. Data analysis and communication skills are really important and are one of the key things that employers are looking for so that you'll find throughout your three year major they are the skills that you will have repeatedly embedded within your core units. What can you expect during your time at UWA? Well, in general, you will have between four and five hours of lectures and laboratories for each unit each week. You should also expect to probably study for four to five hours for each of those units each week as well. So throughout your three years, you'll also be undertaking a series of field trips for each of the different subjects. Once you've finished your marine science major, you could choose to go on and do another two years by doing masters by coursework. If you choose to do that, you'll be exposed to a number of advanced marine science subjects, and you will also do a number of field trips. So for example, if you do marine ecology, you will probably go out to Rocknest for at least a week to undertake some intertidal research. Or you could choose to do a one year's honors degree in year four, and a fifth year where you're doing masters by research or coursework. So why would you want to do a fourth and a fifth year? What you tend to find is that many employers nowadays actually prefer to employ people who have fourth and fifth year degrees. Also, there are a number of benefits to you. 
you get to specialise more in the subjects that you're really interested in and you get the opportunity to be exposed to research and actually do your own research project. So I hope you have found this information useful and I look forward to seeing you when you enrol at UWA for your Marine Science major in coming years.